Yo what's up guys this is Atrix here and we have some brand new amazing updates for the Yuzu emulator android. So if we just go ahead and open play store then you will see that on the normal version of Yuzu emulator initial support for Mali G series GPUs has been added which means that on all Mali GPU android devices the performance will be improved quite a lot in this new update along with including the latest changes from upstream Yuzu. This is just the normal version of Yuzu emulator and if we just head on over to the official uh, Yuzu early access build which is obviously a paid version of Yuzu emulator, you will see that a new update has been released today including changes like adding a notice when device RAM is insufficient, adding PIP interface, includes latest changes from upstream Yuzu, an optimized turnip driver has just been released for Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processors or above. Previously for 8 Gen 1 or above, we used to use Vulkan drivers. If you guys have a flagship device then you should definitely check out turnip driver version 2 which has been optimized and can run games like Pokemon Scarlet with graphical output. Anyways, we have uh, updated both normal Yuzu as well as Yuzu Early Access. So let's start with our today's testing. Let's open Yuzu Emulator Android and see if there are any brand new settings. By going into advanced settings, let's see if there are any MediaTek processor specific settings or maybe they have optimized the emulator internally. In system, we have docked mode, we can enable or disable this. In graphics, we have resolution scaling. Now, in my experience of emulating games on Yuzu, I always keep the resolution at 0.5x or 0.75x. Yuzu cannot just handle 1x resolution uh, emulation for now so I definitely use 0.5x. Even if I have an ultra flagship android device with snapdragon 8 gen 2, it can't be helped you need to downscale your resolution. Vsync mode, ok turned off, anti-aliasing is none. Disk shader cache has been enabled, force maximum clocks and a synchronous shader. So these are the uh, only few options as usual there is no extra option added for Mali GPU users so the changes are internal I guess. Now let's head on over to the Yuzu early access latest build and see if there are any brand new settings. Uh, in the general option no, same settings as before. In system we have docked mode alright in graphics. Yeah we have same settings again. As I previously mentioned 0.5x or 0.75x is the best resolution to keep on Yuzu Android. Now Skyline is definitely better uh, in terms of performance by quite a huge margin compared to Yuzu Early Access or normal Yuzu Android. I'm using the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver based on version 23.2.0 for Adreno 7 series. That's the latest Turnip driver which fixes many graphical issues which you might face uh, while emulating games on Adreno 7 series GPUs. And for Adreno 6 series GPU as well, as usual I recommend you guys use Turnip drivers. They are the best drivers out there for Snapdragon processor Android devices. And I'll show you guys that with the help of the new Turnip driver, graphical issues will be fixed in games like Naruto Shippur and Ultimate Ninja Storm for FIFA 2023 and many other games. Every game in which you had graphical issue will now be fixed with the help of this driver including Pokemon Scarlet as well also Pokemon Legends Arceus. Anyways let's just start the game. Now the stuttering issue which you are seeing right here is because of one of the settings uh, which I have enabled. So I guess we'll have to restart the game but it's not a significant graphical bug. So we'll tap on free battle and let's start a new match. Alright, there we go Naruto Uzumaki vs Smite Guy in Hokage's mansion. Let's start this match. Well, the stuttering issues are a bit annoying uh, but it will be fixed if you restart your game or if you disable uh, asynchronous shaders. But anyways, there you guys have it, uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm for working with graphical output. There is no major graphical issue other than the flickering stuttering issues which we are seeing right now. This game had unplayable level of graphical issues previously but hey, at least the characters are visible and uh, the town is being rendered. So it's playable, it does need some fixes but still, it's playable. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications to stay up to date with all the latest Yuzu emulator updates. With that being said, see you guys next time. Peace out. And there we go. The game has successfully started. So see you guys next time.